Hello everyone, this is Gali and welcome to a new episode of How to Draw Dragons. Today we're going to learn how to draw baby dragons. These adorable creatures can come in many different sizes and shapes, but today we're going to learn just two types. I'm going to make this clearer and I'm going to create a new layer and start with a normal brush. I use this brush or maybe one custom brush to draw. You can have your own custom brushes, I can show you how to make them in another video, but for now we're going to just draw with this one. Okay, so as you can imagine, baby dragons would be like any baby reptile or animal, meaning they have a huge head, a uh, little body, uh, like a long tail, but very tiny legs as well. So this would be a chibi dragon, of course. You know, big eyes and the little horns and stuff. So this could be like a chibi, chibi dragon with a huge head that probably won't be held up by these legs. He can probably not fly with these wings. But this is just an example. So we're gonna create a new layer and I'm gonna show you some examples that I will grab from the internet, as I suggest you do. There is no copyright infringement intended. I'm just going to show some pictures. Let me see if I can bring them up to here. Yes, I can. Okay, so here we have a baby crocodile or alligator. So as you, you can see, the head is very big. And he has like his, his triangle mouth. He's very big eyes compared to his body. And you know, his, his neck is a little smaller and then his body is round and he has very tiny feet. You know, like that. So this is a funny drawing, but I will do this with other animals. So you see what I'm talking about. So you can probably grab other reptiles or mammals or any animal you think of. For example, this one as well has a big head, a long, smaller body and tiny little feet. So these are not dragons, but they're really close to that. So going on this same thing I'm doing, copying more animals, we can have some fun ourselves. Any baby dragon which I will draw right now as an example. We'll have then a big head, big eyes, a smaller body, and little cute faces, right? So you've probably drawn other animals, but they look different in the sense that their eyes are smaller and their bodies are more proportioned. But to make a baby dragon cuter, you need to just add like bigger eyes and smaller details, like their horns won't be as, as sharp as the big dragons. They will be rounder or smaller. Their horns won't be all the way up, like so, so big. They will look exaggerated in some sense. It's like having their little body right here. And then just decide the pose you want to do with your animal. So this time I'm going to make him smaller. So he goes, for example, base myself on little animals. I will do his paws very small, but of course possible. Now you can make them as realistic as you want. If he's realistic, he will look different than this. My style is more cartoony this time, just to give an example. Think of baby dogs as well, not just reptiles. Like any animal, you'll see that their head is in disproportion to the rest of the body. It looks deformed, maybe, 
like colts of horses, have very long legs and very strange bodies. So imagine a, a wiener dog this time, like a, a tackle, with their long body, short paws, and the same with the wings. Just have fun with your creature, don't overthink it, but make it possible. So making the big eyes is what gives your baby dragon away. It could be a chibi dragon and just a little kid but with a mischievous look and everything. You can do so many different kinds as well as, for example, just a two-winged dragon instead of a full-fledged one. Like, that's one kind of dragon, right? So this is one example of a western western dragon. And you can do the same thing. If you have seen how to train your dragon, you'd see that there are different animals based on different species. Like, Toothless is based on an axolotl, which is a Mexican amphibian, and a cat. There's other dragons based on pirates and stuff. So you can you can grab that and make your own. Like they have their dragons with a very small bodies. Little tiny dragons, baby dragons. You should see them. And then these you can grab a bird as reference. And go make a pose just like a bird flying or something. like really there's no limit to what you can create. Remember then the steps could be the big eyes. That's the first thing. Small bodies. And well the details. There are not as many details as in a big dragon. And this is a very cartoony look for dragons. You can make more realistic ones by looking at more animals. For example, a lizard. I will bring them here. Ta -da! Okay. So, see, this looks more realistic than this. But to make it more realistic, then your eyes could be like this. Like you can grab your dragon. And make the details that you see in a real life picture, for example, the eyes. Of course, more scales, little nose. Like, it looks cute, but it looks different than this. And the reason is the eyes. If I wanted to make a more realistic dragon, probably just go like this. Mm, just make his nose like this, and the ridges, and then the ears, and the scales, like, I would make him look more like this. I guess a different approach. There is no right or wrong way to do baby dragons. But you can also mix your own style with whatever you're doing. It doesn't have to look either realistic or not. There's many people who like to use texture when they're drawing, like the scales. Other people like to draw without lines, which make it look more like a picture. But there's really no right or wrong way. Experiment with your dragons and have fun with your designs. So, I will hide this one now. And we'll go to another layer for our last dragon. If you want to like have a chibi one, go with thicker lines. And there's different ways of drawing baby dragons. This one I'll show you. It's a very adorable design I came up with a while ago. It's very simple. As you can see, there are so many things you can do. It's amazing. So, imagine his little feet. He looks like a dinosaur right now. The 
The tip with baby dragons is that they would have tiny wings, maybe not ready for flight yet. So this is a cartoony version of a dragon. You can change the shape of a face. You can really do anything. So. I don't know, there's so many things. So please have fun with experiments. Do your different dragons based on different animals. I could give you an assignment. Maybe it would be look at different lizards and then different animals. Horses, I don't know, reptiles or cats or stuff. Grab one of them and make a dragon based on that drawing. That's a good assignment to make. So in this case, just to give an example, I could choose a kitten. Let's choose a kitten. That you make a dragon based on a kitten doesn't mean that your dragon has to, I don't know, have ears like a cat. That doesn't mean you have to copy the animal exactly as the other one is. Just, I don't know, we'll grab this one. And we'll give you an example to how to do what I'm just telling you to do. So here it goes. For example, you can grab the pose if you want, but if not, just think of the details of this animal, adapt them to your own. Like, he has a rounded face and big adorable eyes. So you can grab the big adorable eyes from the cat and maybe add a normal dragon nose. So you have the eyes of the cat. And then maybe you can make like his face look like a cat's ears. And he has a tiny body, so he could have a tiny body with tiny rounded paws. Just like that. And to be sit down like a cat as well. He could have his tail like this and flipped wings like this. And horns and stuff. So that's one example with a cat, and maybe we could grab another animal, like a baby bird. So look for it on the internet, there's everything on the internet. This will be a good example for a realistic drawing. So, I'm just gonna grab one of these tiny birds, over here. And we're gonna go with a smaller brush, and you see, this time you can make a more realistic approach. Grab the shapes of your little bird, the neck, and then go like, they have their wings all flopped like this. And their big feet go under their bodies like this. So this looks like a dragon bird, right? Well then do the eyes, just like you would Wrapping another animal. Go look at Game of Thrones dragons when they were babies and just marvel at the wonderful design. And copy anatomy. And you see how easy it is was? It might look simpler for me because I've taken practice for years, but really it becomes simpler the more you look at the example, the more you learn from nature, from other people. Like, see, this is easy. Now, birds don't have tails or long tails. They do, but they don't have the same tails as we would expect in other animals, but you can create it. Base yourself, for example, on the cat. And see, you can base yourself in pretty much anything. So I hope this video helped you create your little tiny creatures. If you like it, please subscribe and share. And if you want to keep updated on the things I submit, click the bell icon next to my subscribe button on my page. And this bell will keep you updated when I submit anything. Thank you for watching, guys.